What's up guys? Today we are going to make some shaker cabinet doors for these um, already hung, um, already existing cabinets. And we're going to do it as cheap and as easy as possible. So we're going to need a, a handful of tools for this. Uh, first we're going to need a saw. We're going to need um, a saw guide that we can attach to it. Um, on top of that we're going to need wood glue and we're going to need some scotch tape as well. Um, and what we're going to make the doors out of is MDF uh, board. It's a medium density fiber board. Uh, and we're going to need uh, sheets of quarter inch, half inch, and three quarters inch. Um, so the doors themselves are going to be made out of the uh, half inch and the styles that go around them that make that shaker look. We're going to make that out of this quarter inch. Uh, the three quarters inch is going to be for the drawers, um, so those aren't going to have the styles on them. So they're just we're just going to uh, put in the three quarter inch pieces there. So um, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first step to uh, building our cabinet doors is we want to measure all the openings to make sure they're in line, uh, and then we're going to want to uh, get the dimensions and add five eighths of an inch. So we have an overhang, um, which will allow for the door hinges to, to work properly. So let's go ahead and measure this opening here. Um, we have 30 and three quarters of an inch in our height. We have 15 and a half inches in our width. So we're gonna take the um, five eighths inch overhang and we're gonna double that. So that's one and a quarter inch that we add to each, um, to the height and to the width. So uh, the totals we came up with is 16 and three quarter inch width and a 32 inch height. And that should uh, give us the dimensions for our doors that we need. All right, so what we're gonna be using is a uh, finish blade. Uh, and we're gonna put that on this saw guide. One thing you wanna do beforehand is you wanna make sure uh, that it lines up with your, uh, the measurer on the guide. Uh, so the way to do that, because this piece right here is adjustable, is to eyeball it, to line it up as much as possible, and then start making cuts on some scrap board, and then adjust it accordingly. So um, I went ahead and cut a couple of pieces, and I would measure each one uh, to see the distance, and when it finally hit that three inch mark, because that's where I have it set, I knew that it was good to go. So now we should be able to make our cuts um, with confidence because uh, it's all lined up. Yep. All right, so we have our guide set to 16 and 3 quarters inch. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it here and we're going to cut our strips out. So this is um, 48 inches long. We are going to cut our strips and then we'll come back and then cut the ends off. So one thing to keep in mind when using these is this end over here is usually going to end up not quite as straight. So we want to cut these strips first because this end has to go uh, if we want a straight cabinet door. All right, so we've gone ahead and measured the uh, length of this cabinet door, and we're gonna cut it uh, using a miter saw. That way it's a straight cut across the top. So uh, let's go ahead and cut it. All right, now that we got our uh, doors cut out, we're gonna take this um, quarter inch of the F board and we're gonna cut strips that we will make into the styles for the shaker cabinets. We're gonna go with two and a half inches, um, but they're typically anywhere between, between two and a quarter and two and three quarter inches in width. So uh, to, to figure out what you're gonna go with, the uh, thing I would recommend to do is to uh, go to a cabinet store and just kind of see what size that they're using there and what looks good and what you'd like the best. 
Um, so just like on the last one, we're gonna cut the strips um, and we have this end marked off um, because that's gonna be the bad end. We're not gonna use anything on that end because it won't be straight. So let's go ahead and cut this. And we're going to want to cut all of these strips at the same time so we know that they're, they are um, the same size. So when we're cutting out these styles, you want to make sure that you do your um, long pieces top to bottom first. So that's going to be the size of the entire door. Um, after you have those cut, what you can do is you can take a tape measure and measure the distance between here and cut out these pieces that will fit right in. Um, <clears throat> it's better to cut a little bit bigger on these pieces because you can always come back and shave a little bit off. You want to get as close as possible um, because that's going to make it easier in the long run. Uh, so after this, we're going to glue these down and then we're going to come back with a little bit of wood filler just to fill these cracks a little bit to give it more of a smooth look. So uh, let's go ahead and glue it. All right, so we're going to put a generous amount of glue here and then we're going to uh, smooth it out with a brush afterwards and then put them in place. Uh, and now that that's brushed on, we can just pop these into place and line them up. Once they're lined up, what I like to do is get a little bit of tape like this and just kind of wrap it around to keep it from moving later on. and then push down on it with a little pressure to make sure it seals right. We'll do the same with the other side. There it is, it's all done. All right, and then after that, you wanna make sure that there's pressure on all of the corners so that it dries flush. So we're going to put some uh, other pieces of uh, board on it to uh, keep that pressure on it. Alright. And if worse comes to worse, you can always do this. All right, and then we'll give it a handful of hours to dry, and then we'll get started with uh, filling in the cracks um, with the wood filler. All right, so now that it's been a couple of hours, um, the glue has dried, uh, and we're gonna come back, and you can see around these edges, it's not super smooth yet, so we're just gonna run over it with some uh, 120 grit sandpaper with this sander to try to smooth everything out. Um, you can kind of see over here There's a little lip, but this should eat right through it since we're using this MDF board uh, and it should look pretty good And since we had a good glue on there, you can see it's a lot smoother now. So when we paint over it, um, it'll appear seamless. So let's go ahead and sand each side. All 
All right, now that we got this side smooth, you can see here they look great. Um, we're just gonna come back and we're gonna find any cracks uh, and fill them with wood putty. So um, right here where the uh, styles we're meet each other. Premium wood filler. Yeah, see? so where these meet each other, we'll just put a little um, wood putty there and lightly sand it afterwards. All right, we've gone ahead and sanded the areas where we filled uh, the cracks. And I went ahead and hung this door so y'all can see how it uh, looks. Um, so really now the only thing we have to do is uh, finish the rest of these and paint them up. So uh, I hope this video is helpful. I hope um, you are able to make your own cabinet doors now. Uh, if it was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, y'all.